Hey, I'm Miles with Super Droid Robots, and today we're going to talk about how to use the GPK32 wireless inspection robot. The Pelican case that's on the table is an optional feature with the GPK, but it is one we really do recommend because it will ship in the case, which will keep it safe, and it's a very convenient way to carry it to job site. Inside the Pelican case, we have the robot itself. Underneath the robot are the wheelie bars and the tool for attaching them, assuming that you ordered that feature. The manual for the robot. The remote control and monitor for viewing the video from the robot. The sunshade for the screen to help reduce glare. The SD card to store your photos and videos. charger for the monitor, the two DeWalt batteries that the robot will run off of, and the DeWalt charger for those batteries. The first thing to do when receiving your GPK is to have a look through the manual. Uh, it has all the information in it that you'll need to run the robot. But this video will also show you how to do it, but it's a good idea just to flip through and get familiar with the robot before using it. Add the wheelie bars to the robot, the Allen wrench that comes with it fits into these lugs, the wheelie bar slides in, and you can just tighten it down. You don't have to over tighten it, just nice and snug and those are attached well. This can also be used to remove the roll cage from the robot if you desire. If you need a little bit more clearance this can be loosened and these can be removed from the robot. They come off. The sunshade that helps reduce the glare onto your screen and it uses Velcro to simply attach around the screen and help reduce glare from the sun. You can easily take it back off when you want to put it back in the case by pulling off the Velcro and folding it back up. Just to put the SD card into the camera on the robot, it comes with a 16 gigabyte SD card. Next, we want to insert the SD card into the camera. To do this, with the robot turned off, we can tilt the camera all the way forward and unplug the camera. The SD card slot is right here at the top of this opening, and you want to make sure that the SD card goes in with the metal contacts facing upwards. Once you're lined up in the slot, you push it forward, and you will hear it click into place. And then you can plug the camera back in. Turn on our video monitor and the remote control. First, we want to unfold the antennas. Then we can turn on the video monitor by holding down the power button. And you do have to hold it down for five or six seconds. Just hold it until you see the screen come on, and then you can let go. And it's going to be fuzzy because there's no video coming in from the robot yet. That's fine. When you turn on the remote, it is likely going to make an unpleasant beeping noise because some of the things are not in the right position. And I will show you that as we turn it on. The screen is currently telling us to place all of the switches in their up position and to lower the throttle all the way. The throttle is your left stick, which you will lower all the way down to the bottom. And then the switches it's talking about are these up here. Once we flip that switch up, it stopped beeping and connected. At this point, we're going to put the DeWalt battery into the robot. We'll line up the tabs and push it forward until we hear it click firmly into place. And we can now turn on the robot. The robot, when it turns on, the camera is going to begin recording immediately. And 
you'll see that the blinking blue light indicates that the camera is recording. You'll also be able to see on the monitor in the upper right corner there is a red circle that is blinking to also indicate recording and there will be a timer running over here letting you know how long your video has been recording.